What's going on guys, Tom Jay here, and today I am back with another video. Now today's video is going to be very special. Today I'm doing a method of fishing that I don't get around to doing often, but it is like one of my top five favorite methods. And that method is the wacky rig. Now the wacky rig is a very effective and fun way to catch fish. Now I don't do much of it, but when I do, I catch some big fish as well as a lot of numbers. I mean, a fish, most fish around here just cannot resist the action of that worm fluttering down the way it does on a wacky rig. I mean, it's like the flawless rig that a lot of people use all around the country. So today we're gonna dedicate the day to the wacky rig. So what we got here is we got some Biospawn Exo Sticks. These are one of my favorite stick baits to use. I got them in a few different colors. Um, here I have it in watermelon red. Here I have it in Bama Bug. And here is the Fighter Feeder Shad. Probably saying that wrong. But I have three different colors here as well as some VMC Wacky jigs so these should come in handy today i got all this stuff on shopcarls.com where they have biospawn exo sticks and wacky jigs and a bunch of other stuff if you guys would like to check it out i'll leave the links in the description i have used these biospawn um, exo sticks before and they have shown me that they do work and they are very very effective i haven't used some of these colors today so i'm pretty excited to get these out on the water so we are going to go ahead and rig up and see how today goes we're dealing with a little bit of rain on and off cloud coverage but i think we should be okay uh for the time being so we're gonna go ahead and not waste any more time i'm super excited let's get out on the water there we go oh there we go guys first victim of the wacky rig aggressive little guy stole my worm but number one we will take him i wasn't expecting that guy surprised me on that one i was almost done with my cast Came up and grabbed it last second. A little one, but so aggressive. Pulling drag. He took it and wanted to run all the way out. Aggressive little bass. First one of the day. We will definitely take him. Not too excited about losing my exo stick, but you know, those are the prices that you have to pay to catch these fish. Thanks, buddy. See you later. There we go. <laughs> Second fish on the wacky rig. Little guy. <laughs> These little guys love it. No, I lost another worm. Oh, it's down there. Definitely grabbing that. These things shake off the worm, but this time we're going to recover it. Another little guy, <laughs> smaller than the last, but we're going to take them. It's a numbers game today. Hopefully we get a big one soon. Oh, here we go. Far cast. Nice little bass. Probably the biggest one today. Oh, don't shake my worm off. Biggest one today, but not much to uh, write home about. Nice fish. Pretty aggressive hit. You guys are really, really pissed off today. Another largemouth on that exo stick. I had to cast from like 10, 20 feet out. And he was chilling right by this pipe. See you, bud. All right, getting bigger. It's a good sign. Oh, whoa huge hit you guys oh my goodness i had just turned the camera on and i don't know if you guys saw that but something just absolutely oh nice bass something just absolutely took my worm and ran with it as you guys saw that loud screech it's a nice little bass biggest one of the day obviously on the wacky rig you guys let me not play with this guy too long I got light lines. So I don't want to lose them. I'm just going to carefully get this guy up here. Wow. Look at that fish. I turned the GoPro on in like the perfect moment. Literally as soon as I turned the camera on, this thing bit and started running out like crazy. Wow. What a hit. What a fat, chunky bass. All right. Look at this guy. So fat. This thing looks like a smallmouth bass. His mouth is tiny. <laughs> And his body is so fat. It was like the head of a one pounder and the body of like a three pounder. Wow, what a healthy bass. That thing has been eating for sure. That take, we've been getting crazy takes all day today, but that one, I felt like I had a 10 pounder. Just abs He almost pulled the whole rod out of my hand. That's how aggressive these fish are. All right, we're gonna put you back, my guy. 
Thanks for biting. See ya. Ooh, that's, there you go. Okay, Sean, got a little guy. Oh, and he's off. We'll count it. There we go. Fish on, another one. Oh, a little better one. Freaking out. Back to back fish on that wacky rig. Oh yeah, a little better. Still kind of small, but he's got a chunky belly. He's been eating healthy bass. Just got this one after I lost that tiny one. All right, we're gonna throw this guy back. Thanks for biting, buddy. Over there. Oh, there we go. Right on that pipe. Oh my gosh, that's a bigger one. That guy was there waiting for it. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Get up here. Another bigger one. Oh my gosh, barely hooked. Third one, they're just getting bigger and bigger. I cast it right by, there's like flowing water coming out of that pipe, that sewer pipe right there. And this guy was there to just munch it up. I saw like three or four fish go for it. And this was the one to get it. It was a bunch of fish right here on this flowing water. I knew there had to be a fish there. Wow. That's a decent one. He fought pretty hard. See ya. See ya. Got him. <laughs> Got him by that pole again. <laughs> These bats are so predictable. Another little guy. That was fun. Kind of sight casted him. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. Get back there. All right, you guys, we are kind of done for the day. Something actually came up and had to go ahead and pause our fishing or stop our fishing for the day. We had a blast today. We caught a bunch of fish on the wacky rig, a couple really good size ones, uh, but something has come up. Now, I don't watch much news. I don't really keep up with like news stories and stuff like that. So I've kind of been out of the loop, but I just got some crazy notifications on my phone uh, that there's a giant storm coming. And you guys know a lot on this channel, we get rained out, we're used to storms. Storms don't bother us, we fish in the rain, uh, but this is pretty serious. Now the storm here that we're worried about, it's called uh, Hurricane Dorian. I don't know if you could see that on the camera, if it's gonna focus or not. Probably not, I'll put a picture up on the screen somewhere uh, so you can see it better, what we're kind of looking at here. Uh, this hurricane is supposed to be hitting us literally within the next day or two. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where I was that I didn't know this was coming, uh, but it definitely explains the hectic craziness that's been happening in my area recently. The gas stations are crazy, the supermarkets are ridiculous, and it is going to be pretty bad. Now, because of this, we're going to have to uh, stop fishing and try and prepare for this. I just wanna show you guys what exactly is going on here. This is supposed to be a category five hurricane. Now, I'm gonna just show you guys here what's going on in the area. I mean, it is absolutely insane. This is said to be hitting as a category five, possibly, I'm not, don't quote me on that. I, I read one article and that's what it said, either a category four or five. So I'm gonna bring you guys along really quick I'm sorry we had to cut the fishing short, but we gotta prepare for this. All right guys, well, I thought I would come and show you a line at the gas station, but this is what we're dealing with here. There are no gas pumps with gas. These gas stations are all tapped out. No gas, no gas whatsoever. This is absolutely insane. Let's look at the supermarkets now. Guys, I don't know if you could also see that, on the way to the supermarket, there are people standing in line waiting for propane. I hope you guys can see that over there. It's absolutely insane. There's so many people waiting for propane tanks. It's just wild out here. All right, guys, this is the supermarket. This is what we're dealing with here. All these aisles sold out, no water whatsoever. Completely gone. No water. One lonely eight eight dollar case of water all right guys so that is pretty much the extent of it i mean this hurricane literally came out of nowhere for me and i'm dealing with the repercussions of just finding out late and i'm trying to get resources i'm looking for water i'm doing all this stuff but it's just crazy and this storm is coming and it's coming in hot 
and it's a big deal apparently. Now, what I showed you guys was absolutely nothing. The gas station being absolutely out of gas and the stores being out of water is just the half of it. I mean, people are panicking. They're going crazy. I've seen lines for miles for gas. Like you guys saw, people are standing in the heat and crazy lines for propane. It's just crazy. Hopefully I can get a video of this hurricane when it hits. Obviously it's not a priority, but if I can share what's happening here with you guys, I will, but it is what it is. Welcome to Florida. But on the brighter side, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. We did catch some fish. We caught a couple of decent bass and I had a lot of fun using the wacky rig setup. All the baits that I used today in this video will be in the description below. Definitely check out Catch Co products. I use them all the time. They're absolutely amazing. You can get them on Shop Carl's. Click those links, get you some for yourself, especially that exo stick. It is like straight fire. But that is going to do it for me for today. I'm going to go and try and buy some water from somebody for $13.95 a pack. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you guys live in South Florida, definitely be careful, stay safe, don't go outside during a hurricane, uh, prepare, get water, batteries, all that good stuff, and I hope everything is okay, everything should be okay, but I am going to go for now. As always, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>